sin. I work with the top individuals, the most intelligent individuals in my said area and other ones on the fucking planet. And there's one thing that intelligent people do, especially intelligent people who want their time back. They do one thing better than all you motherfuckers. Intelligent people want a simple fucking solution. Ignorant motherfuckers have to believe it's so fucking complex. Intelligent people seek simple solutions. Ignorant fucks need complexities. They need it to be complex or else it denounces their whole pursuit of never finding the answer. But successful, intelligent people know that every time they thought something was so difficult, when they found the true answer, it was hidden in simplicity. I work with Dan Martell. We got on a call, he said he had 20 minutes. He wanted the answer so simple. I gave it to him simpler. Made 120,000 the first day off of a $12,500 investment. This is Dan Martell, a world renowned business coach, Wall Street Journal author, monster in business in the game. One of the smartest people. He was able to take a very simple breakdown and apply it. A lot of the smaller coaches and idiots and people who aren't smart at all, but they want to act successful. If I give them the very simple breakdown of how we're going to make and get the results they want, they cannot do it because they have to believe it's harder than what I'm telling them. And that is sickening. Why? Why, do you, why does it have to be harder? Why can't it be very simple? Garrett White is another individual who made it very simple. He saw the simplicity of what we were doing. He followed it, got massive results. I'm telling you, a lot of the mid-level coaches, a lot of the new people, a lot of the people who've learned stuff that they don't really understand, they get caught in the middle of this. They're always thinking that it's some funnel or some campaign or some uh, fucking VSL or, or this or that or webinar or all this shit. A lot of that shit works. But why the fuck would you want to be a businessman in a world of influence? You want to be an influencer conducting massive business that's very simple so that your profit margins are low or your profit margins are high and your expenses are low. That is what you want. You want to be an influencer conducting massive business with as high a profits and as low as expensive as po expenses as possible. When you're a businessman on the internet, you conduct yourself like what you learned in business school. Uh, if you're profiting more than 40%, the business can't be growing. Of course it can. It's organic. Of course it can. It's organic. You can use business-based assets to boost where ad revenue or ad spend usually goes. I mean, so fucking easy. But a lot of people will never understand it because they've never done it. I'll never do it the business way because I'm an outside the box thinker and I want my cake and I want it. I want to have my cake and eat it too. I want everything and I want the profit and I want to enjoy it. I'll make it my way. If anybody knows how to make shit that's not going their way go their way, it's a man who was in prison. I can make anything go my way. It's a mindset shift. And the only way that you can do that is to not follow the people who have an un a, a business model that's unfavorable. Most people who tell you they make eight figures online or seven figures online, they profit about 30%. Now, would you want to make 30 million a year and take home eight to 10? Because most of them would the way they set their business up. That is horrific to make that much and take home that little. Oh my God. Your whole goal at that point should be seeking 
someone like me who can drive your profit margins up and decrease your expense, your business expenses drastically because it's the internet. Your business expense is your ad spend and your, your ad budget, your expense budget going towards advertisement. There's no, it's not a brick and mortar. Brick and mortar isn't wrapping up a lot of your expense money. So what would that be? That would be the properly allocated content to a nurtured audience that is specific towards personal development to buy that type of coaching. Now, if you're not selling coaching, it would still be cultivating tens of thousands of hundreds of thousands of millions of friendships because what? We buy from our friends. Do you get it? Is this ringing a bell? I'm gonna tell you guys something. I'm gonna tell you something real huge. Social media and your personal brand is your resume to the world. It doesn't matter what you wanna sell. If you had a page like mine and you were selling nothing, it's still a page that's ready to sell everything. Even though you're like, does he sell fitness? I can sell anything. I have a trusted, nurtured audience who has seen my character and they're ready to buy. Now, I only sell stuff that I would buy. So they should buy it. And everybody should buy a personal development program this year. Nobody is as developed as they could be. I spend my whole day in personal development. When I make these videos, that's what I'm doing. Everything I'm doing is mindset training and personal development. It's 11 o'clock at night. I didn't wanna shoot this video. Do you understand the type of mindset it takes to go from laying in bed, almost vomiting, because your heartburn and what your, your hiccups and what you're burping up, I've been having trouble with my digestion, to shooting a video like this. It takes such presence to be able to do that. The mindset to get up and say, fuck that. I owe the world. If only you guys had that mindset every time you're about to bitch out. Fuck that. I owe the world a veiny ass chest. Fuck that. I owe the world a million dollars worth of cars bought cash this week just so they could see that someone could do such a silly purchase in their eyes and what they could have done with that million bucks. Just to show people that a million bucks is really easily acquired when you have 400,000 friends on two different platforms. And how would you guys not be my friends? I showed up for you every day. I was more consistent than your friends and I gave you better advice and was a better role model than your own friends are. I love you guys. Keep this in mind. Let's go.